I was just saying to Robert Weatherwax that I've interviewed his father several times, and it's nice to have a chance to get to know you. Uh, how long have you been associated in this work with your father, Robert? I've worked in the show for 10 years, from 62. Uh -huh. Of course, I've been associated with the first Lassie because we were about the same time. I was born in 41, he did Lassie come home in 42. Uh huh. So Lassie's been a part of your life always, then. Yes. Do you actually uh, work on the movie sets and, yes. and, and uh, take over if your father doesn't Well, it takes more than one person to work Lassie because we have long shots and they don't like to use a lot of cuts, so we can have them hit four different positions, do about five different things by using a couple. We use three trainers. Have you any startling changes in the Lassie series this season? Well, this season we're going to do more pictures with just Lassie and animals instead of the people. We're not going to do quite as many with people as we've done in the past. Any special episodes that, that you could talk about? Oh, we've done one with Lassie and a stork, Lassie and an eagle. And wait a minute, Lassie and a stork? Yes. And where did you get the stork? From the zoo or something? Uh, no, the guy that did uh, The Birds Are Coming, Ray Berwick. Yes. And uh, he used the stork. Now, uh, is, how does Lassie react to an animal or a bird or something that she's never seen or he's never seen before? Well, Lassie's been raised with a lot of animals. We have a ranch, and he's always raised with them, and that way he's used to them. And it's just a matter of um, introducing them a little before we start working. Uh, what about the birds, though? <laughs> What's their reaction? Oh, the birds, they're the same way. The, the man that has those birds, he's about the best in the business. His yeah. birds are... Is that Ray? Ray Berwick. Berwick, yes, yeah. I've interviewed birds him. Birds are coming for Hitchcock. It was a great picture. Yes. Now, uh, the stork and then... What other animals did you say? Uh, we've done an eagle, we've done a raven, uh, we've done two horse pictures with Lassie and a horse, and um, now we're getting ready to do Lassie and a kitten. He oh. saves the kitten at the beach, and uh, so it's a lot of that, more, not too much people this year. Yeah, it's a little more difficult, though, with kittens, isn't it? Because they're not quite as trainable. Well, this, in this case, Lassie does most of the work. He carries the kitten, rescues him, and so the kitten doesn't have to have too much to do. Do you find any differences in the different Lassies? In other words, will some be better at some things than, than others? There's, uh, there's always been certain things that your dog does better, or one dog does better, or does uh, not quite as well. This is the fifth generation of Lassies. He's been doing a show for four years, and this is the best Lassie we've ever had. So he's almost flawless. He'll work, he works in fire. He's an excellent swimmer. He uh, works great with animals. How do you explain that, Robert? Just a personality uh, trait with him. He's, um, I don't know, maybe because he's a Gemini. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's just... Now that opens up a whole new area. <laughs> he can do an episode sometime. Lassie's the Gemini. <laughs> Thank you very much for stopping. You're welcome. Lassie, with you want to wake up? Come on up here. Here, speak. Say goodbye. Speak. 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 That's the baby. Have her turn around. Have her turn Stay around. there. Lassie. <laughs>